Hey y'all, it's the Cincy Lady of East Texas. So I have kind of a confession and just wanna like talk through something with you because chances are you have struggled with the same thing that I have struggled with. So for the last year, I wanted to do certain things in my business, but I let fear and the fear of the unknown really take over. And in January, I, I'm going to try not to cry when I say this, but um, I didn't think I would get emotional. But in January, I had a shift in my mindset and my word for the year is believe. And I thought, I have to believe in me. I have to believe in my business. I have to believe, believe in my ability to be a great consultant and a great leader. And so everything shifted in my mind and I decided, Autumn, you've got to try things this year that you've wanted to, but you've let fear take over. And one of those was monthly craft nights. Like I, it seems like such a simple concept, but I can't tell you how many months have gone by where I allowed the fear of what if nobody would come? What if I waited too late? What if nobody's interested? What if I don't get any RSVPs? What, you know, just the whole, I'm putting myself out there and what if nobody does anything about it? But y'all, when I decided to shift my mindset and I decided to give this year all I've got, y'all, I just have to share that it's been incredible. So I've had two successful craft nights, successful meaning people RSVP'd and people showed up. Like that was my biggest thing. No, they weren't huge, but they were oh so fun. So in January, my craft knot was a Valentine's garland. So literally it was yarn and we like made pom-poms by like wrapping yarn around our finger and then cutting them and making pom-poms and then putting them on a garland. And y'all, their ticket to get in was to buy a three pack of wax and then I provided everything to make the garland. I had nine people RSVP, six actually showed up. Um, because of illness and conflict and whatever. Life happens, right? But the three that weren't able to make it had still pre-purchased their three packs of wax. So I had nine people confirm. Fast forward to February and we made the, uh, we didn't make, we colored the fragrance flowers with Sharpies. So it was a coloring party. Again, I had eight people RSVP, Two couldn't make it, so I successfully sold six. Well, one of the girls was interested in the whiff box, so I took it. We met at a local restaurant in the side room, so I took the whiff box so she could see it. Not only did she buy the one that I ordered, I sold two more because people saw it, and I guarantee now they're going to be thinking about well, what's in next month's whiff box because they were already saying well, what's going to be in March's and I was like well I don't know I won't know until March 1st so it was putting myself out there putting myself in the position for people to do what I feared that they would have done which is not show interest or not show up. And y'all, I totally proved myself wrong. Like I said, no, they're not huge yet, but I've had two. People need to know that I'm consistent as well. And the flu is going rampant around my town. So a lot of people may not, you know, be able to commit because of illness or whatever. But people left there last night already talking about marches, already curious about what craft I'm gonna do, and already willing to prepay for next month because they've been to the first two and they've loved it. They've had a blast. They are now talking to their friends and wanting to invite their friends to come. But the point is, I put myself out there, I chose to believe in me, and I chose to think and understand I have to at least try because all yeah, all of last year, I wanted to offer these and I chickened out. I let fear and I let my own insecurities take over and prevent me from trying something. And this year I was like, no, I have to believe in me. I have to do this. And I've had two that have been successful and people have purchased product, y'all. 
if you have been fearful of doing things and trying things in your business, I beg of you not to be like me. Don't be fearful. People love you as their consultant. They love the product that you sell. Put yourself out there and try something new because I am kicking myself for having basically wasted all of last year, but you can't focus on that, right? I can't back up, I can't take it back, I can't do anything about that. All I can do is take the success that I've had with my first two monthly craft nights and pour it that energy into making the rest of them a success. So get out there and make it happen. Believe in yourself and believe in your business and good things will follow. Y'all have a good one.